Hi, today we are using a simulator to develop our understanding of the option market making mechanism learned in FINS 3635. We are using Acuna 4124 for our simulation. First of all, I would like to talk about how we are going to hedge the Greeks and making them neutral. We will want to make our delta as close to zero as possible as we want to bet on the volatility of the stock prices rather than the change of the option prices. Therefore, we will buy futures when the delta is at negative and sell futures when delta is positive. In order to control our vega, gamma and theta, we will change our implied volatility to maintain a good balance in our portfolio. If our vega is negative, it would mean that we are selling too many options. We will then move the volatility up in order to buy options. When vega is positive, we will want to move our implied volatility, volatility up to sell, to sell options. We will first start off with just buying and selling options when we see red bid prices suggesting the price is more than our bid price to sell and blue ask prices suggesting the option price is less than our ask price to buy. We want to press the reset for bottom when the bid ask price is red to get back into the market after the trade. From the first few moments, we could see that the market prices were very stable and had low volatility. Thus, our main strategy as a market maker was to long an out-of-the-money put option and short another out-of-the-money put option at a higher strike price, essentially shorting a put spread. In addition, we also longed out-of-the-money call option and short out-of-the-money call option at a lower strike price, creating a long call spread. As the market was relatively stable and did not fluctuate much, these two combinations helped us gain profit. These two combinations also helped us minimize any changes and movement in our Greek risks, which is a beneficial as we wanted to keep our portfolio Greeks as neutral as possible. Furthermore, we, are we also wholesale traded 363, 7380 long call fly to take advantage of the low volatility in the market prices. Although butterfly spread has a high setup cost, since the market volatility was low, the spread added into our, uh, our profit. If there was any changes to our volatility, in our simulation, we would have had to sell all these uh, option combinations. The potential problem with our trading strategy is that if there is a significant increase in true volatility, we might make huge losses as our trading strategy takes advantage of low volatility in market price. Furthermore, the setup cost for long call fry spread is too high. Instead of setting up call fry, we can trade other combinations with lower startup costs. As we can see from the graph of future price and volatility, where the price is relatively stable, which means selling put butterfly strategy will be better since the underlying price will not move too far away from the strike price. For example, we could short put options with 380 and 360 strike price and long to 370 strike price put options, which can value up our inventories. We could also improve our trading strategy in the simulations by moving our volatility. Because we don't want to sell low strike price put options, and we don't want to sell call options with higher strike price. We can improve our trading by increasing the 0.05 volatility and 0.95 volatility up to match our theoretical price to other market participants. Finally, as we can see that our current profit and loss is around 5,400. And later on, I will show the risk matrix which will show the profit and loss is pretty good. And our strategy has covered right range of 30% of price movement even though the price movement is quite stable. As you can see from the risk matrix, our Greek risks such as Delta, Vega, and Gamma are very low, which was uh, our initial goal to neutralize our Greeks. In addition to the potential problem, where the theta will decrease as the time move, which could cause huge decrease in our value. Thank you for listening.